Commotion CNC screen scripts now support combo boxes. This example demonstrates a combo box drop-down populated with material types. When changed by the user, KFLOP is notified of the change. A user C program then reads the combo box text and writes it to a DRO label on the screen. Note that international characters are also supported as Unicode. The custom screen now includes 40 combo box controls. By default, they are hidden to avoid conflicts with existing screens. If we change their property to show, they then appear on the screen. We will now load the combo box example. We're using one combo box here. The text property contains semicolon separated strings. The first string is the default value. The remaining strings are used to populate the drop-down. The ver property is used as an ID for KFLOP to read text from the combo box in the same manner as an edit control. There is also a DRO label that KFLOP will write the combo box text into to simply demonstrate that it was able to read the combo box. Note it has a var of 161 associated with it. Here is the C program that is running in KFLOP. It first checks if any edit control or combo box control has changed. If so, it reads the combo box associated with var 160. It then writes the string to the console and also to DRO label 161. Watching the console, we can see when a change is detected and the string printed to the console. If the string contains non-ASCII international Unicode characters, they are sent as hexadecimal values because KFLOP doesn't support Unicode. Notice the hexadecimal values sent and the DRO label displaying the international characters. Edit and Combo Boxes save their current contents in a data file so the values will persist from one execution of Commotion CNC to the next. Here's the file edit control persist.txt in the data directory. Notice Combo Box 20 contains that value. If we exit Commotion CNC and restart, the value persists. That's it. Thanks for watching.